against the LA Galaxy in the final match of the Super Classico. This Sunday at 2, right here on LA 56. Welcome to the sizzling celebration of Hot Seat's second anniversary with Wally George. Turn up the volume, settle back, and don't miss a moment of this exciting hour. You'll see all the highlights of Hot Seat's second phenomenal year on the air. And now, here he is, the man of the hour, television's award-winning voice of conservatism, Wally George! Thank you, Mike Villani. And yeah, turn up the volume. This is going to be one exciting hour as we start our third year of Hot Seat on the Air, our second year anniversary show. Lots of action, I'll tell you. All the highlights from the last 52 weeks. And of course, here with me, no audience. No audience. Just my good friend David Kennedy and I. David? We're on our way again. I didn't think you could surpass the first year, but you did. <laughs> well, you know, those liberal lunatics in this country said, well, Wally George, the voice of conservatism, he'll last about 13 weeks. David, we proved him wrong. We're going into our third year. I understand, Dave, that you have uh, some letters you're going to be reading. We've got a lot of letters and telegrams here, Wally, but first, I'd like to read this. Uh, you should be very proud of this award that oh, you yeah. received this year. Right. And I'd like to read that first. Good. From the Hollywood Citizen News and Associated Newspapers, the annual television awards, special award of excellence to Hot Seat with Wally George, KDOC-TV. Mary Pisano, producer. The most outstanding television talk show in Southern California by Gary Stoll, publisher. Hey, that's really very nice. We want to thank Gary Stoll and the Citizen Newspapers of Southern California. Hey, that's great. Now, I know you're waiting. Why wait any longer? Let's huh? get going. We had a lot of action in this uh, program for the last 52 weeks. Even Steve Sachs of the L.A. Dodgers got involved. How would these people feel if they're so much for this about their wife, their daughter, or their mother in this business? Yeah! Not only, not only is this business killing people physically, by this I mean they are spreading herpes, AIDS, which there is no cure for. If you get this, you're dead. You're hey, dead. How do you ask? Not only are they killing themselves physically, but they're killing the minds of America by watching this show. Yeah! What do you think you're doing with that? people something right now. Sitting behind here is a picture of John Wayne. Would you people stop him from smoking a cigar? God bless you, sir. Oh, you're a bunch of communists! You're a bunch of was asked to go and put his life on the line while our government was still trading with the Russians during the Vietnam War. The North Vietnamese were getting supplies that we were sending to Russia. How, we weren't serious about fighting this war. This gentleman was, ans as you say, this gentleman was answering his country's call to fight to, to stay off. betrayed you. Oh, hey! Mister, you know what I do for a living now? Right now, sir, yeah. I earn my living as a professional bodyguard. I earn my living beating jerks up like you. Yeah. And you can use that right now. Don't push it, mister. I'm proud of that flag, and I'm proud of the men I served with under it. So don't tell me veterans are stupid. You're the stupid yeah. one. Is this man going to speak for himself, or is he too stupid to speak? Mr. Seagull's always talking in the ring. Uh, I'd just like to get the facts straight here. You guys say it's not fake. 
how come you re you guys wrestle on different mats and boxing rinks? Cause you got an echo sound. Anytime you guys hit, you stomp your foot when you hit the guy Why in the face. expert on acoustics? Because Get I watch it. Probably one of the phoniest creeps I've ever had in my program. Get in the ring with me. You get your little tail in the ring. That's what you do. Get in the ring. Get in the ring with me. That's what you do. Mr. Reagan, off the top Mr. of your puny little head there. <laughs> At least my puny little head doesn't wear a toupee. Go, I uh, hey, hey, hey. This. You ask me to. Listen, you stupid little wimp. Is that your answer to all logical situations? Is that your is that your, your answer lawyers, to everything? We'll be hearing from because this happens to be my own hair, you jackass. I doubt it. Pull it. Wait. Would you like to make a ten thousand dollar wager? Right I doubt now? that you could cover it. I can cover it. I I'll don't give believe you. you. Do you want to make ten thousand dollars? Show me the ten grand. Do you, hey, hold on. Hey, hey, big uh, shot. Hey, hold. big shot. First of all, first of all, make you, a hold on. Wait a minute. No, no, no I'm I don't want to make the bet with you. Do you no, I don't want to make the bet with you. Because you know you're a filthy liar. No. Come down to the Live Factory, which is a good, funny club. There's a lot of funny comedians come down. If you're funnier than I am, Wally, I'll spit shine your shoe. Oh, I know. Look, look, look. Wait, 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 wait. But Wally, but Wally, but Wally, if wait, I'm me. funnier than you. You have to eat a watermelon right here on your show. Wait a minute. You have avoided... I'm trying... Sounds like a good deal. Let's get to this interview now before we go to any... Hey, before we go to any challenges, let me, let me just get this. I have accused you of having a very dirty film. Act. You use four-letter words. You, you you say. Hey, uh, Wally is a four-letter word, ain't it? No. Wait. No. I say. Five. Hey, I'm illiterate, okay? Hey, shoot fly. Hey, that was supposed to be funny, okay? I say this. Hey, can you imagine if you had four letters? Uh, kiss, no. kiss my Wally. <laughs> Shoe Those fly. Guys were nuts. And, and how about Mr. C with that author? Oh, we, we really had. That was action. We got more coming up. David, I understand. First, though, we're going to have a couple letters to read before we return to the action of Hot Seat. I'd like to start off with one from a very old and very valued friend of yours, I'm sure. Congratulations and thank you for your loyal support and friendship over the years, Richard M. Nixon. That's well, very, very nice. I'm very pleased with that. Yes. One more. Dear Wally, needless to say, I am delighted that Hot Seat is stronger than ever as you go into your third year on the air. You and your show have done wonderful things for KDOC. You have drawn more and more enthusiastic viewers and advertisers to our station. On behalf of the entire staff and management, congratulations and thanks. Michael Volpe, Vice President and General Manager, KDOC TV. Well, Mike, I want to thank you very much for that, and I want to give Mike credit right on the air. He was the guy that had the idea, David, mm -hmm. uh, for us to do Hot Seat over two years ago. Mike is the creator of this program, and I owe any success that I have or recognition to Mike. 
and of course to everybody here at KDOC TV in Anaheim, my home base. And that goes for Pat Boone, chairman of the board, for Golden Orange, and Cal Brack, Bill Simon, and of course all the crew here. They're just great, and I love working with them all. Hey, in just a few minutes, you're going to meet some real zany, unbelievable, ludicrous characters that you saw during the last year on Hot Seat. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. have some news you've been waiting for. My amazing Popeye's Dippin' Chicken is back. You remember it. This is the one you can really scoop up the sauce with. White meat medallions cut into perfect chicken dippers and fried up fresh. Dippin' Chicken, fries, a biscuit, and an extra large portion of my new Cajun chili garlic sauce for just $4.99. That's right, honey. Dippin' Chicken is back. You've been holding your breath for this one, haven't you? Yeah, well, you can breathe now. We are from Oregon, and we have brought our cheese for you to enjoy. We have a ship on our packaging. Not a cow or milk or, you know, cheese. You see, back in the day, it was easier for us to ship our cheese up and down the rugged Oregon coast by ship rather than by wagon or baby loaf bus. We know you know this as it is told and retold by cheese-loving people around the world. But the farmers asked us to mention it. Enjoy Tillamook cheese. Eat all you want. We make tons. Free is good. Sign up with Time Warner Cable and get free DVR service for six months with our triple play starting at $79.99 per month. Yeah, that's right. Time Warner Cable gives you free DVR with the triple play. For this free DVR offer, call 1-855-WANT-TWC. Don't forget, this free DVR offer ends in two days. Get free DVR service for six months with the triple play starting at $79.99 per month. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC today. Remember, offer ends in two days. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Soon, Californians from Sacramento to Salinas to San Diego will have equal access to quality health insurance. Those who need financial assistance will get it, and nobody will be denied because of a pre-existing condition. Welcome to a new state of health. Welcome to Covered California. We are your health insurance marketplace. Enroll today at CoveredCA.com. Welcome back. Wally George here with my good friend David Kennedy. And this, in case you just joined us, is our second year anniversary program of Hot Seat. Coming up in a, just a few moments, we're going to have you meet some wild characters who were here. And you know the ones we're talking about. Yeah. But first, here's a couple more very fine letters of congratulations from David Kennedy. Go ahead, David. All right. The next one, Wally, is from... Uh, well, congratulations, Wally. Wish I could be there to join in the festivities. You're one of a kind. Best wishes, Congressman Robert K. Dornan. Bob Dornan, a very, yeah. very good friend. I always thank you, Bob, and congratulations on your last election. Go ahead. And here's one from the other side of the aisle. Okay. Dear Wally, congratulations on your second big year with Hot Seat. I know you'll sling sizzling for many more years. Your friend, Gray Davis, California State Assemblyman. We got a, a, a congratulations from a Democrat. Hey, that's One something. of them Democrats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you know, we were talking about characters that we presented on this program. And boy, did we have some Looney Tunes, David. We had some crazy ones, right? For here. example, do you remember, by any chance, Joe Badami, the nudist? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want you folks at home to take a, take a nice look at Joe Badham. He is probably the worst person in the world to be a nudist. <laughs> Joe, can you imagine how, can you imagine anybody who would want to see him nude? <laughs> now, Joe, why, why are, why are you a nudist? I, the way I answer that, Wally, is if God had meant people to run around naked, they would have been born that way. Oh, come on. Throw them out. Are you saying to me that the Soviet Union wants peace? Absolutely. Oh. We want the flower, Oscar. Nice flower. Okay, we have to get rid of the flower. It's getting into my... So can you hold the flower down, please? understand 
that you have been contemplating and, and thinking this over for quite a long time about whether or not you're going to run for president in 1988. Have you decided to run? And most positively, president of the United States in 1988 with my running mate, Mr. Pinto. Yeah! I'm the only one who has the integrity to run this country and to make the decisions to put the United States back on a positive course. Away. That's right. Wait, 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 wait a minute. The nation is suffering from Reagan retardation, R oh. square. That's right. That's right. Wait a minute. That's right, Reagan retardation, R Reagan. square, R, 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 R. Uh, isn't that right that, that you had, at, at times are known as Jackass Willie? Nobody's ever called me that before. Well, you told, well, you told me that, that you, were, uh, you were known as, as that. No, I, I said I'd be honored if you'd call me that because it's from my name that my mother, my mother gave me. You would be honored if she, I called you She named you, ja you Jackass? No, <laughs> not exactly. You would be honored if I called you Jackass Willie? Yes. Why would you be honored if I called you that? Uh, well, my mother graduated from school way back in the 20s. Well, that's a good reason to call you a jackass. <laughs> I, I am the editor and chief of the Laugh Factory. Well, I wouldn't brag about it if I were you. Hey, I'm bragging about it, pal! I'm, I'm am bragging about it. They Hold pay on a me minute. to brag. We only have a half a minute. Here, here's what I'm. We only have half a minute. Okay, I'll talk real quick. I don't know. Let's not get this sweet little dress designer upset, okay? There's nothing about me that's sweet. Let me tell you right now, I got a mouth like an acid bath. I mean, and you got a face to match. I have news for you. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. what I'm saying. But I had enough sense to fix it. Just a minute. Yeah, I you just sure did. I spent nine thousand dollars on surgery. Now just a you ought to start in, baby. Just a minute. Don't you? Don't you ever? Yeah. Don't you ever attack me for no. being a bad influence on young people? Because I stand Wally. up here, and they know what I stand up for. I stand up for God and country and morality and decency. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to proclamate that I, Tony Fish, am the new liberal realist satirist Wait and critic that will take on morons like wally george <laughs> Tony Fish, the liberal realist. Now, those are some characters that we had on, David. And when I say characters, I mean characters. But one thing I want to tell you. As you know, the people we ha had on this program week after week, month after month, during the past two years, the one thing they have tried to do is to make fun of the President of the United States. And I want to say right now on this program that I have had enough of that. I will never allow anyone to take pokes at one of the greatest men who has ever served in the White House, and recently, as we all know, he has proven himself to be the most courageous, the boldest, bravest man in the White House. And there's one thing that really makes me very outraged is when these Looney Tunes come on my hot seat show and try to attack, try to attack Ronald W. Reagan. I will not put up with it. Take a little break and come back, and we'll take on some of the issues we discussed during the year. Stay there. What? All this for six bucks? That's my late-night munchie meal. Comes with one of four awesome new entrees. I got an exploding cheesy chicken sandwich. I got a stacked grilled cheeseburger. I got two tacos, halvesies, and a drink. They all come with those. Mine came with the remote. Mine came with a picture of your family and your electric bill. You can keep that. <laughs> Uh, 
sit and sleep, the mattress store that's first in sales, selection, and expertise, proudly introduces another new first. Introducing OctaSpring, the first mattress made with revolutionary breathable memory foam springs that give you the support of spring technology and the cradling comfort of memory foam in one. But there's only one store where you can experience this new technology that helps you sleep cooler and wake up feeling great. Sit and sleep. Sit and sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free! Free is good. Sign up with Time Warner Cable and get free DVR service for six months with our triple play starting at $79.99 per month. Yeah, that's right. Time Warner Cable gives you free DVR with the triple play. For this free DVR offer, call 1-855-WANT-TWC. Don't forget, this free DVR offer ends in two days. Get free DVR service for six months with the triple play starting at $79.99 per month. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC today. Remember, offer ends in two days. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. SEC College Football on LA56 KDOC TV. Every Saturday morning at 9, catch some of the best teams in the country as they make their run for the national championship. Traditional powers Georgia, Texas A&M, South Carolina, Florida, and more try to knock off defending champion Alabama next Saturday. The Gamecocks' Mike Davis looks to keep the chains moving against the Razorbacks. South Carolina versus Arkansas next Saturday at 9 on LA56. And we're back. Wally George here with our second year anniversary show for Hot Seat. Oh, a lot more action coming. But right now, Dave, let's get a few more letters, if you will. Here's a couple more, Wally. All right. I send you my best wishes on your second anniversary on the air. Much luck in the future, Governor George Duke Majin. Well, I'm very honored with that. And let me say something about George Duke Majin. I think, next to Ronald Reagan, the best governor this state of California has ever had. Let's not forget when George Duke Majin took over this state from Jerry Medfly Brown, we were broke. We had a terrible deficit, and George Duke Majin has put this country back on track, and now we have a healthy surplus. I think he's terrific. And thank you, Governor, for your message. You got another one there? Here's one you'll love from a fellow entertainer. All right. You are one great entertainer and talk show host. I think your third year will be better than ever. Keep it up. Your friend, Alan Thicke. I can't understand why Alan never talked that nice to me on his own program. No. I mean, he used to really put me down. You might remember, and I'm grateful to Alan, he gave me my first big national exposure when I appeared with him for 17 weeks on the thick of the night. And Alan, even though you put me down and we fought it out, I thank you for giving me that kind of great recognition all over the country. Thanks to Alan Thick. And now, talking about things we discussed during the last year, we discussed the issues of the day. Hot, red-hot, sizzling issues. For example, you might remember Teresa Lede when she really got into it on the death penalty. I grant you that you could probably go through the papers and find a lot of stories, but that does not make premeditated murder right. Premeditated murder in our system is what calls for the death penalty. And murder is not going to stop murder. Capital you know what I'm saying? Capital, you can, yes, you it can will. yell it out consistently. I'll tell you. Murder does not make murder right. They're no better. The person that pushes the button is no better than the person they're killing. They're not punishing them. They're punishing Wait, themselves. Wait, hold on. It, I find it very hard to believe that as far and as advanced as our country has come, that our only alternative to justice is death. I find it very hard to believe. And I find it very it, hard. If it has to be done, let them do it. But don't tell me it's right. Okay? I find it very hard to believe that, that, that anyone like you could sit there and try to, def like to defend animals. I'm not defending animals. I'm defending people. I want any... to see criminals punished. But I'm saying punish them. You All have right. the power to do whatever you want to do to them. Hang them from the ceiling if you want to. But the human being does not have the right to take the life of another. The... That's pope, preacher, politician, or judge. The only... Whoever it is that makes the Hold decision. on, Teresa. The okay. only the only punishment for a cold-blooded murderer is the death penalty. What's that pin you have on? What does it say on your on your pin, Greg? <laughs> Closets are for clothes. Closets are for clothes. Hey, don't you think you gays would have a lot less problems if you just stayed in the closet? Yeah! Uh, perhaps. Why must you make such a... 
Why must you make such a big deal about having gay pride parades saying, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm proud of it. Now, we heterosexual normal Americans, we don't hold parades saying, I'm heterosexual, hooray! Oh, just a minute, just a minute. You know, I don't know. I've never been to a parade yet, the Rose Bowl Parade or any other parade, but what? They didn't have a queen at the parade. And you should be it. <laughs> right off the bat, can I tell you, I am sick and tired of you pukey little peace activists. What about you? You have always been a pain in my neck. You really have. Why are you still hanging around, you radical piece of... What are you trying to do? I'm here to tell people that a nuclear war is not survivable. A nuclear war is not winnable. I disagree with President Reagan. I disagree with you. And we need peace on Earth now, or we're going to blow ourselves to smithereens. Oh, oh. And, I'm here, and I'm here to tell you, punk, that the only way we're going to have peace is with Ronald Reagan and peace through strength. trying to say, Karen, is this. Why do you have to get into a, a drug where your eyes get all red, your, where, your brain, where your brain gets cloudy? Why can't you just be high on life? Answer me that. Hey, wait. Well, I do get high off life, but sometimes smoking a bong load or something, it helps relax a person. Why do you say, why do you think there is no God? Just you, answer me that. You want to go to church, you got to buku de neros, you know? Why, why do you think there is no God? I'm not so much anti-God as I am anti-religion. But you're an atheist, and an atheist yeah. says there is no God. I didn't used to be an atheist. Well, why are you now? They made me an atheist. Who d <laughs> Every religion is against all the other religions. If you don't believe their way, you're going to hell. Here, here is a little punk who believes in Darwin's theory of evolution that we all came from monkeys. I want to tell you one thing. He is the best argument in favor of evolution I've ever seen. Well, now, do, you really, do you really mean to tell me... I, I mean, can you really, really sit there and tell me that you believe in the theory of evolution, that, that we all came from monkeys? We, as evolutionists, do not believe that we came from apes. We believe that we evolved from a lower form of man. That and was you are the lowest form of man I've ever seen. <laughs> Nobody says you have to raise that child. There are plenty of people who would adopt that child and give it a good home. There, that's true, and that may be, Wally, but are you a woman? Have you ever laid there for eight and a half hours of hard labor and given birth to a child and then oh, not be human no. to give it away? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Have you ever had an abortion? Yes, I How have. How many have you had? I've had four. Four! Yeah. But the, the real fact is that the vast majority, the vast majority of deaths and injuries that are caused by handguns are not caused by these raving lunatics, as you call, but are caused by everyday people or when a husband gets mad at his wife and picks up a gun and shoots somebody. And are those the people, is that's the reason why I'm against, I, I should thing, be issue abolished. I'll tell you one thing, my friend. Americans will give up their handguns when these weak-kneed, spineless judges lock up criminals for life. Yeah! You say, you say that this is wrong and it shouldn't be done. It's the only way to be done. The only, and I'll tell you what, you are in the minority because the Herald Examiner just the other day here in Southern California took a survey of the readers of Southern California and 70% of the readers said they were in favor of Chief Gates and his tank and his battering ram. How about it? 70% 70, 70 of the readers, huh? Well, where does the circulation come from? It, it, it certainly wasn't the people down in Watts that said 70% they Listen, go for it. Listen, you keep talking about the people in Watts. Chief Gates is not for the people in Watts. If you don't show me else, Show me elsewhere that he's used a tank. If show you, me another place that he's used a tank. If you anywhere, he'll go anywhere where he thinks there are drugs being stored. That bridge is still for sale, Wally. How in the world, in this moral, decent country, can you sit there and say that you're for the legalization of prostitution, huh? It is the oldest profession in the world. Everybody has tried to put it down since day one. Nobody has ever succeeded, and you never will. You know why? Lust and sex are the number one thing on everybody's mind, whether they admit it or not. Not only that, hey, not only wait that. Minute, wait a minute, 
minute. She, wait a minute. She, Not only wait, that, wait a minute, Ann. Hold on a minute. She sounds like she's talking from experience. Yeah. You bet. You mean you've never had sex? Wally, have you never had sex? Listen, I'm not talking about that. Oh, yes, you are. All right, hold on. Sex. Never. Are you really pure are, that you have never indulged? We, we are not here to talk about my sex life, you pervert. That's absolutely right. I mean, come on. We don't <laughs> talk about my sex life on this program. Anyway, those were some of the issues we discussed. And I feel very deep. We have fun sometimes talking about these issues, but I feel very deeply about a lot of them. For example, the nuclear freeze. Come on. You can't tell the Russians we're going to have a nuke freeze. Nuclear disarmament is going to bring about peace. It's not going to do it. The only thing the Russians understand is peace through strength. And instead of all the people saying, hey, the Russians really want peace, we should go along with them. Why don't they contact the people in the Soviet Union and say, hey, prove to the world that you want peace. Prove to them by pulling out of Afghanistan for a start. We'll be back. We got some more things. Believe it or not, we talked a lot about sex on Hot Seat last year. Be right back. Honey, I have some news you've been waiting for. My amazing Popeye's Dippin' Chicken is back. You remember it. This is the one you can really scoop up the sauce with. White meat medallions cut into perfect chicken dippers and fried up fresh. Dippin' Chicken, fries, a biscuit, and an extra large portion of my new Cajun chili garlic sauce for just $4.99. That's right, honey. Dippin' Chicken is back. You've been holding your breath for this one, haven't you? Yeah, well, you can breathe now. <sighs> Soon, Californians from Sacramento to Salinas to San Diego will have equal access to quality health insurance. Those who need financial assistance will get it, and nobody will be denied because of a pre-existing condition. Welcome to a new state of health. Welcome to Covered California. We are your health insurance marketplace. Enroll today at CoveredCA.com. Do you have any experience? No, not at all. Do you know how much you need? How, how much? That much. That Zero, much. Okay? okay? It's not training for a little job. Yeah, it's yeah. training for a career. That's something right there. It's a big demand for electricians. Oh. You can do anything. You yeah. go anywhere. How many times can you change your life with one phone call? <laughs> That's good. Hey, where do I sign up at? I'm convinced. <laughs> people like him are waiting for people like you to call. Make the call. <laughs> Once in a decade, a television show comes along with great performances, brilliant writing, and exceptional production values. But until then, you can watch AFV. And now you can watch it five times a week. Join Tom Bergeron for all the fun and surprises yes. on America's Funniest Home Video. Weeknights at 8 on LA56 KDOC-TV. Okay, we continue now, and once again, for those of you who just joined us, I want to say how much I appreciate the loyal support of you viewers who have helped Hot Seat gain and gain in momentum as we move right along. You have been so supportive. Your mail keeps coming in. I know you're out there. God bless you for making this momentous occasion happen. Right, David? We've got to be very grateful to those people out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Let's get some more letters. I have a real stack of these things. I hope I get through uh, at okay. least most of them. All right. Here's one you'll like. Hot seat is a real phenomenon. Thanks for bringing back all the excitement of the old Joe Pine show. I wish you well in your third successful year. James Bacon of the Hearst Newspapers. Let me tell you something about Jim Bacon. Uh, he has said some amazing things about me in his column. As a matter of fact, he said, Wally George is so conservative that uh, he had a member of the John Birch Society on the hot seat, and he threw him off because he thought he was too far to the left. Now, that is not right. Another thing Jim Bacon <laughs> said in his column, he said, I'm not saying Wally George is conservative, but he said, believe it or not, Wally is to the right of Genghis Khan. All right. Now, let's continue. It seems, David, that uh, sex is the topic of conversation just about everywhere these days. And we even talked about it right here on Hot Seat. 
It is my position that all pornographic films, all pornographic magazines should be outlawed and banned. amendment of the Constitution of, says Congress shall make no law against freedom of speech. And if you believe in the Constitution, then we should have our choice of whether or not to buy an adult ticket to a movie or whether or not to buy a men's magazine. Oh, wait a minute. It's our right to decide whether we want it wait or not. Wait a minute. Earl Warren, formerly of the, of the, the Supreme Court, said, and I quote former Supreme Court Justice Earl Warren, the First Amendment was never intended to protect obscenity. Is that right? I understand that for the audience here, you're going to give us a demonstration of your message. May I say that you are indeed the first transsexual to be on the hot seat. Are you thrilled? No! Tell me exactly, because uh, I know people are, are watching you uh, in amazement, as I am. Now, now, what exactly is a transsexual? Can you tell us? Somebody. And why are you looking so strangely <laughs> at David? <laughs> Uh, what is a trans? What is a transsexual? Why don't you read the dictionary? I didn't come here to. Can you tell me? I can tell you on my own view. Yeah. Tell me briefly what a transsexual is. Somebody that's not happy with their own sexuality by birth. I see. And and what is the difference between being a, being a transsexual and a transvestite? Transvestite is usually a heterosexual that gets off wearing feminine clothing. All right. A transsexual is somebody that wants to go through a whole surgical process. Okay. Now, uh, are you, you are still a man, I take it, right? Yes, I'm under uh, hormone therapy. You are a man and a woman. Yes. Now, would I call you male or female? Pre-op, post-op, pre-op, post-op, transsexual. So I would say, <laughs> if I were to be somewhere and I, I were to introduce you, I would say, this is my friend, the post-op, pre-op, no. trans-op, <laughs> transsexual. <laughs> You, you're red. you are the kind of crumb who likes to live off of women and he makes me sick to look at him. How about you? Yeah. Let me tell you, if you call making a woman feel good about herself and feel pretty and feel wanted, if you call that sick, then yes, you, because then when, I'm sick when then, you make them when you make them pay for it, yes. I don't it make is. them pay for it. I give oh. them what they want and they give me gifts. Oh, would you so, do it if they didn't give you anything? Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. That's yeah. expensive. Now when you were hired to work at a bachelor party, what exactly do you do at this bachelor party? Okay, well, this is what I do. I come in as a cop, a motorcycle cop, and I arrest the guy for having a, a legally parked car or something yeah. like that. Then I tell him to put his hands against the wall, turn around, spread them, and I frisk him. <laughs> do you ever... Do you do you ever do any dancing at a bachelor party? Oh, definitely. Party? That's what I do. I strip. I take my clothes off. Oh! <laughs> you, go, you go to a bachelor party with just men, and you yeah. stand there in the middle of the room and take off all of your clothes? Not all of my clothes, but most of them. What's that? Most of my clothes. Not all of my clothes. Not See, all the idea is to tease, not to let them have it all. you got to tease them all. Well, how much do you leave on? Well, I go down to uh, a pasties, G-string, garter belt stockings, and we do this 
also. Hey, 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 how old are you? 21. Four. I mean, I'm, why, why? A young, pretty 21-year-old girl, why are you doing a, a lewd thing like this? It's not lewd because I, I'm using what God has given me, and I'm not going to have this very long, so I might as well take it. Well, God did now. not give it to you for, to appear in a bachelor party, did he? Uh, what do your parents think about, about this, this business that you're in? It's successful, so they're happy. She taught me how to bake cakes. So what do the cakes look like? They have nice round ones. Never. <laughs> they have nice long ones. Now, <laughs> We'd like to show you one of our cakes. What? We have a sample cake for you. A sample cake? I said all three of you are also w working with her as mud wrestlers and all that? Yes, well. Do you think that the ladies look sleazy looking at them? No. Do you do you want to know do you want to know what we wear yes. when we wrestle? You want ladies? Oh. Yeah. He wants to know what we wear when we wrestle. What do you wear when you wrestle? could they possibly do that in front of Mr. America here on the Hot Seat Show? Can you imagine such crudeness? How can girls like that do that kind of thing? Well, we're going to take a little break, come back. Well, I hope I didn't offend anybody out there. I offended myself, David. Yeah. Take a little break, talk about politics next. Stay where you are. p.m. You know what that means. We turn into werewolves? No, nah, dude. I start serving my late night munchie meals at nine. For six bucks, you get two tacos, halvesy fries, and a drink, plus one of four awesome new entrees like the stacked grilled cheeseburger. It's 9.37. You know what that means. We turn into werewolves? <laughs> If you're struggling in this tough economy but need a new or used car, there is a way. For immediate help, call 1-800-START-OVER. Regardless of your credit history, we believe you deserve a dependable car, truck, or SUV. At 1-800-START-OVER, we have hundreds of models to choose from. So don't wait. Call now. 1-800-START-OVER for your chance to buy a car you can afford. Call 1-800-START-OVER or go to la56.tv. Click on the banner and get started. Hey, you're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, or maybe next semester. No, do it right now. They'll work with you after work, or you can go before work. You can do whatever you need to do to graduate. Go talk to somebody right now. They out to help you. You spend all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's going to help you in your future? All you got to do is pick up the phone and make the call. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Everyone agrees. 
king of the hill. I live in the real world where men sell propane and propane accessories. Words can't describe the experience. I can't even know what it is with, you know. Weekdays at 4 on MA56, KDOC-TV. We continue right along here now with our very entertaining, I'm enjoying it a lot, hope you are, hope you're enjoying it as much as Dave and I are, with our anniversary party, and, and once again, boy, thanks to the crew for making our set look so patriotic and very, very attractive. Hope you're having a great time out there. Remember to join us every week at this time, okay? And tell all your friends about Hot Seat. In our third year, we got bigger and better things planned for you. David Kennedy now has a couple more letters to read, if you will, Dave. Right, another one. Uh, I want to congratulate you on your great success with Hot Seat. I'm confident you'll be on the air for many more years. Your friend, Fred Silverman. Well, let me say something about uh, uh, Fred Silverman, uh, who probably is one of the great legends of all time in the entertainment business. He has been the chief operating executive at all three networks, ABC, NBC, and CBS. And David, we're proud, I know you are, sure are. that uh, Fred Silverman is now involved in syndicating our program, Hot Seat, all over the uh, nation. By January, Freddie says we're going to be in a hundred cities. And as we speak, I just got this message that right now we have just cleared Boston, Milwaukee, Birmingham, and Greenville for Hot Boston. Seat. Okay. Now, you know, the most important thing about Hot Seat is politics. And we talked and talked and talked about politics over the last year, including some conversations with a real pain in the neck like this guy. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, fatty. It's not funny. <laughs> If you think Metzger, if you think Metzger is funny when he said, well, then you must ag agree with him when Metzger came on my show and said that there was no Holocaust. You're damn right I do. You're damn right I do. You believe that's there right. was no Holocaust that's in right. Nazi Germany? A Holocaust is a Jewish lie generated... <laughs> They have used it for 40 years. He's, he says Ronald Reagan speaks with a forked tongue like a snake. Can we stand for that? Oh, oh, wait a minute. You, you can't, Walter, you cannot say that about one of the greatest presidents this country has ever had. Uh, How can you say that? If I had him out in my Indian country, I would have him burned at the stake. Oh! Yeah. Now, what do you like so much about Jane Fonda, uh, Gene? What's wrong with somebody who looks out for people's civil rights? Oh! oh. What, what, about, what about someone who speaks up in public, and this was printed in newspapers several years ago, what do you think about someone who says, and I quote, we should all hope one day that we have a communist form of government in this country. What do you think about that? Do you, uh, do you support that statement? Yes, I do. Oh! oh. And gray the rumblings are that you may run for governor of California. Is that possible, Gray? That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, and see if you agree with me. Gray, the only way you could ever win for governor of California, and I know another Democrat who did this, his name is Ronald Reagan, right here on this program. If you want to succeed and get ahead, what, he, what you've got to do, and you tell me if I'm right, he's got to right now on this program see the light, be saved, and become a born-again Republican. Yeah! make it happen for you. I can heal you. I can make you a new man. All you, all you gotta do, Gray, is say, hallelujah, Ronald Reagan, I'm a Republican. Yeah! Wally, anybody could slip going over a bridge. Maybe even yourself oh, might have come to. On. No, wait. He was just oh. giving the poor girl a ride home. Come on. How, she live at the beach? Oh, how do you explain the fact how do you explain this? And here's the man who wants to be president of the United States. 
he and Mary Jo Kopechny go off the bridge into, the, into this, this lake, and she's lying at the bottom of, of the lake. Teddy Kennedy swims to shore and walks all the way, all the way back to his hotel. He goes into the hotel, says goodnight to the attendant at the hotel, walks up to his room, sleeps the whole night while Mary Jo is lying, dying in the lake. Why, why didn't he call for help? How do you answer that? I figure he, I figure he thought she could swim. Obviously oh. she could. That's how I answered that, Wally. And now David Kennedy, if you will, we we've, we've had some strange guests. I know I'm a little worried about this guy standing in back here, but anyway. Okay, go ahead, David. The first guy on the hot seat tonight, Wally, is Tom Paget, who is the leader of the Odinist Fellowship Religion. <laughs> First of all, who is that creature standing behind you? You will. Hold it. You will address him as Rolo, my personal bodyguard. And the reason, the reason he oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me how to address him. I'll address him. I'll address him as Nitwit. That's what he is. He, he has the sword, and you don't. Know. The Odinists. Can you believe yes. that? There's something odorous, I think, about the Odinists, don't yeah, you? Yeah, he was a strange one. Oh, Australia. They were all a little strange. Hey, I'm going to take on the uh, rock industry next. Don't you dare go away. Stay with us. And we're back. And there is Miss Catherine Webb. Wow, would you look at that burger. Am I dreaming, or is that blue cheese and hot sauce? I think that is 100% Black Angus beef. Well, I'm 100% excited. Whoa. Holy moly. It's the ultimate game day fantasy. The Buffalo Blue Cheese Burger. And try the new Buffalo Blue Cheese Criss Cut Fries at Carl's Jr. Do you use $2,500 in minutes? We've got you covered. We are Dollar Loan Center, your community short-term lender. No checking account required, no application fees, and no prepayment penalties. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota to Los Angeles, California, apply at one of our 80 locations or complete your entire loan online at don'tbebroke.com. Watch Life Today, weekdays as James and Betty Robison provide real answers to real problems through compelling guests and miraculous testimonies. Witness God's love through inspiration, hope, and life. Join us in making a real difference in our world by changing countless lives and building stronger families. Don't miss Life Today with James and Betty Robison, weekdays on this station. Looking for big savings on a big dinner? Stop by a Subway restaurant and get any three regular footlong subs for just $14 after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. That's less than $5 for each footlong sub, but only for a limited time. Subway. Eat fresh. Timeless. The Jewelry Exchange has diamond anniversary bands for $129. Center of Your World Pendants, $299. One Carat Solitaires, $990. And Top White Studs, just $599 per carat. Buy diamond at Factory Direct and save the Jewelry Exchange in Tustin. Join us for the majesty of the Catholic Mass, here Sunday mornings at 9. For more information, visit mysundaymass.org. Don't think you're going to melt me with that British charm of yours. We make our own rules. Let's get this party started, huh? Tonight at 11 on LA 56, KDOC-TV. So we come to the final moments of our party, but first, before a little more action, one more letter, David. I want to make sure to get this one in, Wally. A David in a world of Goliaths. Congratulations on your second anniversary, your friend, Pat Boone. 
Pat Boone, chairman of the board of this station right here. He's a very good friend, too, Pat. Hey, we got to hurry now as time moves along. This is how we took on the rock industry. It is not fun. You are playing music that is satanic. Wait a minute. I'm going to have that confiscated well, from here, you, okay? Let's put it, let's put it down. Okay, I, I've run out of... Yeah. I've run out of... Yeah. Now, wait, how can you say... How can you say satanic music that encourages devil worship is fun? That's oh. dangerous. Oh, I don't think it encourages devil worship. I think it's sort of like you. By wait showing... Wait a minute, pal. Wait a minute, pal. One thing I have never... And I will not put up with you for 10 seconds if you will say that I have ever encouraged devil worship. I stand for God and country. Yeah! Uh, all right, now we have a new member of the Hags who have joined us. And his name is Matrick Ferry. What do you think about that? Yeah! Now, wait a minute. You, you two guys are guys, right? Sometimes. Mm, it depends. Are, are you a man or uh, are, are you a male? Um, yes. You're male and you're male. Mm. Yeah. Why are you two people holding hands here on stage? Yeah. Is this sickness or what? I mean, are you are, are you two going together? Is that it? Off and on. It's been an off and on going thing for about. Boy, this is the most ridiculous group I've never. All right, we have a whole group here. Just one spokesman, please. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, I'm Shane. I'm in the group The Unforgiven. We are musicians. We're former purveyors of this sort of madness. Amen. We play music now, and we can rock with the best of them. We don't have to stoop Tell to this sort of level, huh? Yeah! yeah. Come up here! Yo, you! You! Come up here with that sort of look, and you deal, and you preach wait, over, wait, speak wait, up wait. the devil. Hey! Hey, I'm talking! Hey, that ain't talking! You ain't talking to the devil? Huh? You speak of the devil, you preach of the devil that's infantile, that's lowbrow, you're reaching out for the lowest common denominator oh, and the baser it. instincts in humans. Oh, that hurts. Yeah! And it ain't even new. And worst of all, worst of all, there's nothing new, new about it. Why don't you let the music do the talking? You have music to back you up? Huh? No. 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 You're lucky you live in a country where you can say things like this. Are you Americans? Are you men? Now, this, don't try to skirt the issue. You are getting on the air, and you're playing to little pre-teenagers, 11, 12, 13 years old, who think you're hot stuff, and you're talking filth and sex. Thanks for listening, Wally. And you're sound... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, I'm checking you out, and you are a disgrace to the young people of America. You are leading them down the road to <laughs> That's ruin... That's your opinion, man. That's your opinion. How man. about your opinion? <laughs> Well, we still have the right to be the way we are. Do you realize, El Duce, uh, that your band, the Mentors, you have been called the Sleaze Kings of Rock. What do you think about that? Yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, El Duce, how does it make you feel to, to be called the... the the filthiest, most perverted, disgusting heavy metal band in show business. Successful. Successful, and there's going to be more of us. Oh. Yeah. gang and hey all of our crew is here and here I want you to see the Wally hot seat second year anniversary cake thank you very very much hope you all had a great time I want to say we'll be here for at least another 43 more years God bless you all thanks to everybody here at KDOC that has made this possible golden orange on behalf of David Kennedy everybody here thank you very much bye bye everybody
The opinions expressed by Wally George and his guests do not necessarily reflect the views of this station or its sponsors.